Let me begin by answering a question posed on the chat by Ola Rende Ali. I told you to switch on something to monitor your work. I said you must have your history on. Now, what you do on the on the uh, at the at the line below the browser, you will see this gear at the top at the bottom right corner. That gear is called options. If you click, if you click on the options there, you see do not capture design history. So if you say do not capture design history, then there is no design history. But if you come back again, if you go back there again, and you start toggle, and you say, uh, wait, what is happening here? So you can say capture design history or do not capture design history. That's, that's, the, that's what I'm saying. Always turn it on to be capture design history. So if I say do not capture design history, it is turned off. So design history is no longer there. But if I go back there again, and I say uh, that that is gone. So I may have to go to my preferences and look for capture design history. Or let me just see whether I can use uh, my undo to get it back. But I was expecting a toggle, but I didn't get a toggle. So let's see whether I can do use my undo to get back what I did before there. I'm not getting it back. Um, my system here is behaving in a funny way. I can't see. Let's see. I can't see the. It is that that uh, something below the, the below the browser. But I'm not seeing it here. Let me just see whether I can make this thing smaller so that I can see what is happening there. Okay, so let me try and make my browser smaller. Aha. So it is this. If I if I click on this now, um, I've I've already reversed it. But let me say, do not capture design history. Continue. So if I come. What I did next is to come back and say undo. Let's see whether I'm doing it. Okay, I've, I've done the undo. So what that's that, so under that option, make sure that it captures design history. So do not uh, activate, do not capture design history. Uh, let me just be sure that the person who I'm answering Still there. Uh Olari Ali, did you did, did you get that? Please can you answer me if you got it? Olari De Ali. Olari De Ali, is he is he is he gone? You don't see get it. Okay, did you see can you see this uh, gear? on the, can you see this gear on the bottom right? You can see it. If you click on it, it says do not capture design history. That means that right now it is set to capturing design history. So if it, if it doesn't say that, then say capture design history. Right now, the default is that you capture design history. Don't leave it like that. Don't, don't touch that. If you don't touch that, then your design history will be captured. I will use something else to show you what design history is shortly, then you will understand. Uh, I want to move on to my original drawing, which is the concrete bench. Let us go back there. Now, this, is a, this concrete bench is your first assignment. The assignment is to go to uh, a meta mat area, in front of the systems engineering office, you will see a number of uh, concrete benches that look like this. So you are going to take measurements so as to be able to do a model of this bench. The bench has how many parts? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six elements. There are six components. There are two base supports. 
two, uh, one right side and one left side, and then a bench and a backrest. Uh, out of them, only there are only four unique things. The base support, the one side, benches. And the other things are just uh, mirror image. This, this, this one and this one are mirror images of each other. So you are only going to you are only going to take you are only going to create four components and you mirror and four components are two mirrors. We create what we have here. And if we look at this drawing very well, we'll see that uh, the only thing that is really elaborate is the red looking edges. All the other things are just simple rectangles. For instance, if you want to create this back, this uh, bench, all you need is to do, uh, all you need to do is to do a sketch on this surface. If you do a sketch on this surface, do this rectangle and extrude it, you'll get it. If you do another sketch of this surface, do this rectangle and extrude this, you'll get it. So those are very easy things to do. And this one is several rectangles on top of each other with extrusion. So this is the only thing that is a little bit, a little bit elaborate. And that I want to, before I do that, I want to show, or uh, I want to show you what the history looks like. Let me, I want to play the history of this bench to show you how I did it. And this kind of, so you see what a timeline graphical tool like Fusion 360 looks like. So let's say I go back to the original and I decide, just watch now, I want to, I want to do a play of the entire drawing process that gave you that thing by clicking this. You will see it's going to go step by step and do everything that I did. It may be too fast for you because of the Zoom link. Did you see the history play? Let me see whether it went, whether it came through. Did you see the history play? Or should I do it again? Did you see the history play? Plus, answer me in the chat. Okay, you saw it, good. So, that is, uh, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to just, I'm, the homework is that, first of all, go and take measurement of that uh, bench and do, the, and do a drawing like this. And to do this one, all you need to do is to sketch this thing on the two dimension and extrude it a small distance. There are several other things inside this space, for instance, which I'm not asking you to do right now. Even though you are seeing this backrest, I did this one with the reinforcements inside. Now let me just let me apply, let me apply some transparency to the to this to, to, to these objects so that you can see, so I can reveal what is inside them. So I can take the arm and I will just I will just apply an opacity of 40%. So I've done an opacity of 40. So you can see the, the which and maybe that's too much. Let me apply an opacity of 20 so that you still see the external thing. And so opacity of 20 instead of 40. Opacity of 20. Okay. I know that's too still. Should I should I increase it? Opacity of 80. Uh, this is more like what I want. So you will see a profile, you see the, the reinforcement, but you still see the external thing. 
let me apply opacity of 70 to the backrest and to the bench. Uh, six lab opacity control of 70. Backrest. Let's see, where's the, where's the backrest? Um, where's the backrest? Backrest. I want to apply an opacity of uh, 72. Okay, so right now, I'm not asking you to do the reinforcement, just do the exterior thing only. And that means that you are just going to do two dimensional drawings. You do a two dimensional drawing here and you extrude it very short and then you copy the drawing to the other side. And then on this side, you do a, you do a, a sketch. You do a sketch and then you expand, you extrude it here and extrude it there. So we are going to do that. So uh, you try. By next lecture, you bring your uh, effort and let's see how far you have gone. After you have done the one, because I've done this drawing, after you have done the drawing, I will now tell you to go back home and take a more complicated bench or chair or whatever you have in your house or anybody's house near you and do it. Just begin to build your portfolio because your test at the end of the term is going to be based on the things you have done. Your portfolio is going to attract 20 marks. So, Better do your portfolio very well. If your portfolio is not good, then you've already started failing the course. I think that is all I want to do. I want to see whether there are questions. Let's see what the questions are. Can you rotate it for us? I can only see the back view. Okay, I can rotate it for you. I can do an bit of it for you. But the real bench is the physical bench is near you on in the in the in the department there. Just go in front of system engineering, go towards uh meta mat. These benches are still there. There are up to six or eight of at least six of them there that are designed like this. I want you to go take them and then begin to attempt to draw them. And then we'll see. Later on, I'll show you how to, I did the reinforcement inside. And then we'll go to more difficult examples. we we'll go to things, we we'll go to assembly and many other things we can do. So let's see, what other, what portfolio is this? What I'm saying is that gather all the drawings you have done during the time together. That's your portfolio. So. You do one drawing, you put it, see, see my own portfolio, see all the drawings that I've been doing. So if you if I if I scroll down now, you see all these things that I've done in Future 360. So that's what I'm saying. That is your when you do that, and you can arrange all the things you've done. So don't just tell me, you don't just be thinking that everything is about final exam. Everything is about what work you have done. For instance, this is uh, this is the pillar of a turbine. But I did some time back. So if I, okay, this is part of my portfolio. This is the Bella of a turbine. And I can show you. Okay, so I can do the other parts of the turbine now and then go and simulate it and make it rotate, put water pressure in it and then see it at work. So. As this is uh, in my portfolio. This is uh, a six cylinder engine of a motor car, which we can also, which we can, uh, in fact, uh, which we, in fact, can, can, can animate and let it actually move. This is my own portfolio. These are things I've done with Efficient 360. This is a plan. 
may I show you this one. This is a three-dimensional plan of my house. This one is, this is a better picture. Let me make the roof transparent. Um, Look at shit. Let me do this. It's transparent now. Okay, this here is a three dimensional. That's it. Here is a three dimensional design of my house. So I hope I've answered you. What's your portfolio? Uh, So, so you, you, what I want you to know, class, is that you are in 200 level. If you take this seriously, by the end of this calendar year, you'll be making money for yourself doing things that you yourself will not believe. That is the thing. This is not about your grade in this class. You should do so well that even somebody who got 100% is still below what you have done. So I am not really excited that you got 100%. I'm excited that you have changed your own history. You have changed your lot. You will not be jobless. You will be able to apply this to your courses and you'll be able to apply this to life. This is one of the most important courses you will ever take in your life. I can assure you that. If you do this well, you're already on your way to prosperity. That is it. So better take it seriously. I will help you as much as I can. And we are, I'm going to, uh, it is a skills course. So there is no reason why anybody should get anything other than an A in this course. And it is going to show by the amount of effort you put in. Even when you are getting that A, you know you deserve it because you have sweated it out and you have learned a lot far beyond the call of duty, far beyond the call of the course. And then if you do that, I will, show, I will assure you, if I teach you any course after this, you'll see where we are now bringing this thing to powerfully to make you understand engineering in a way far deeper than you could have imagined. Mm -hmm. so, so, so create your own portfolio. Create your own portfolio and let us see it. I will show you. Many of these things are actually uh, animated. They can move. They can move relative to each other. So they are like the car engines you see can actually be animated and they will move the way they're supposed to move inside the car. So all these things, these are things that I've been doing for a so few years teaching this course. So you, so you create your own portfolio and let us see. This is, this is a turbine inside which that impeller is. This is a heat exchanger. Anyway, my time is up. I want you to go and sweat, sweat it out. Start with that drawing and let me see. Do your own drawing. Where you are stuck, I will start from there at the next lecture. Just tell me what you are having difficulty with. I will spend time on it next lecture. So class, I want you to have a very good day. Goodbye. <laughs>